hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair accus is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it so i guess a lot of people decided they were going to just use the super bowl time to just have a lot of active <laughs> hitting going on y'all this is what it seems like because not only do they have an active hitter or hitters in houston texas they now have an active incident that's going on in memphis tennessee okay y'all um there have been multiple hittings that's taken place across Memphis. And a lot of people's come to my comment section and they're asking me, they like, you know, do you all think, and they're coming into my inboxes and stuff. And a lot of people's bringing this subject up. Do you think that they're doing this and people are purposely sending people off to do some stuff just so they can push in this Marshall um, L to the A to the W, y'all? Is this why that they're doing all of this and got all of these active hitters coming, you know, so that they can, you know, I'm just saying, y'all, it seemed that that would happen. If you get all these people all over the place talking about, you know, um, weapons, violence here and there and there and there, then this will push in this martial law stuff. Okay, y'all, is this why that this is taking place? I don't know. But it seems as if they, they purposely chose this day that everybody's attention would be on, you know, the Super Bowl to send out some hitters, y'all. And there are some cover-ups taking place as well. Now, what gets me my, my blood boil, y'all, what makes my blood, blood just boil is when I watch a news report and I see that somebody is upset because somebody been taken out in their family. And you clearly see this man right here is upset because somebody has gotten hit up at this vape shop. Okay, y'all. Do y'all see the police is over there laughing in this man's face? I would turn around and cuss them out on the news. If, if I swear I would, y'all. That's just the type of person that I am. If that was somebody that close to me and that just passed away and I look around in two police officers, look over here to the left, y'all. Two police officers got smirks on their face laughing in this man's face. I would cuss them out to hostility. They would have to cut that out the news, okay, y'all? Because I would go off on these two police officers. I can't stand this. And this seems to be something that happens a lot on the news. And I wonder why nobody ever says anything about it. Why these police officers be showing up to the crime scenes and they smiling and laughing and people been taken out and stuff like that. But yeah, it's so many crimes that's taking place right now around Memphis right now, y'all, that it don't make no sense. And shout out to Auntie Fee about the facts because she's the one that's posting up about the hittings that's taking place right now in Memphis, okay, y'all? She's posting up, too, about the hittings. But I want to play this other news report really, really quick, and I'll go to her for a second and let you hear what she got to say as well. And if, you do, if you're not subscribed to her channel, go check her out because she keeps up with a lot of stuff that's going on in Memphis. But this is ridiculous, y'all. Listen to this. As Memphis police officers crowd the entrance of the business, employees of nearby businesses watch the investigation unfold. Police say they responded to a shooting at the vape shop shortly after 10 a.m. They located a victim suffering from a gunshot wound, and sadly, the victim died on the scene. The shooter was gone. What happened? It's one of... This guy is out there hollering, what happened? What happened? And the police officers are standing over there laughing to the side. I kid y'all not. Go and watch WREG News Channel 3. Three taken out and multiple hittings across Memphis. This is the, what it's on right now. This happened two hours ago. Three people were taken out in this one place, okay? And they have no clue of where this guy, whoever it did it is, or nothing. They don't have no clue. They just riding around, going and just doing whatever, okay? And... He's saying what happened, what is going on, and the police is, is laughing over here. Y'all see the smirks on their face. Y'all go watch the news report if y'all want to see the rest. But this don't make no sense for the police to be laughing, y'all. Many shootings that took place across the Memphis area within a 12-hour time frame. 
the access, accessibility to weapons makes people do the dumbest things and most horrible, irre, unreversible things possible, which is kill somebody. So, see what I'm saying? They're talking about these weapons and the wrong people getting them in their hands, okay? That's the main thing they're pushing. And, you know, they're making sure that they put people on the news report that's going to bring it up that, you know, th these weapons are in the wrong hands, which they are. They really are. It's getting out of hand. But at the same time, it's just, just so they can control things, y'all. I'm just saying. This just seems weird to me. Now, this was just one. This is another hidden that just took place that Auntie Fee about the facts is over there reporting on her page. Man wanted in a series of crimes. So let's play a little bit of hers as well. Let me see if I can go back to her. Police, if this was a random shooting or did this. So asking police if this was a random shooting or did this suspect know his victims were asking police those questions so far. They have not told us, but I want you to take a look right now at what we're seeing out here. This is one of the scenes we are shooting Shelby tonight Brown. on Commerce Circle. This is in Southeast Memphis. This is where police say two women were shot. A young person was also bit by a dog. You can see police have roped off this area. Where is Key Man? They're focusing their attention at a business right here. Uh, Blackwood News is out of town. Center. And tonight, Stephanie Gregg, we're working to piece together the timeline. So in this separate incident, one person has passed away when and they're saying two people are injured and there's been two carjackings, y'all. Okay. And then she's saying the guy that normally be all over the place reporting the news, he's out of town right now. So, um, you know, you're going to probably get half the stories. Okay. Because he was putting the police up on stuff. Okay, y'all. When he was running around here reporting stuff. But here's what investigators are telling us. Just after 10 this morning, there was a carjacking off Shelby Drive, then a shooting where one man was killed at a shopping center off East Shelby Drive. Then there was a shots fired call where no one was injured off Pilot Drive. Then here Multiple, on that tonight, uh, on Palmer Circle, two women were shot, the a young person then bit by a dog. A carjacking was also reported from a grocery store parking lot off South Perkins Road. In Another one at a grocery store. Y'all be safe. They're all over the place and they, they don't care where they at. They are not caring. They are taking people out at income tax places. They are taking people out all over the place. Like, they it, they don't have no kind of morals. They don't care. They don't care about no kids being around. Look at this rapper that just got taken out in Chicago, y'all. He got taken out in front of, y'all, his kids and his woman, okay? And they didn't care. The baby was almost got hit up, too, with him. They didn't care. And if you look at the footage from it, because somebody sent me the footage, the mama, she ran off and left the kids. Then one, one of the kids was keeping up with her, and the other one was caught in the middle. And he, she had to just wait until they finished taking him out to run around and then come and meet back up with the mama. She had ran off and left the kids, basically. She didn't even grab one hand and take them with her. She just took off and running. So, if people don't got no morals. They don't care about no wife. They don't care about no kids. They don't care about no nothing. There are organized criminals out now that's coming at people, robbing people left and right. No holes bar. And they could care less. A 67-year-old woman was dragged the other day, y'all. On footage, a migrant dragging them. Cause they try to snatch something from her and i don't know if she was still holding on or did she get caught on to them or whatever but she was slammed y'all into a bike rail this is what they did to this older woman trying to rob her for possibly her phone or her purse slammed her into a bike rack y'all please stay safe it is so much going on out here that it don't make no sense and they don't have no control over all the stuff that's going on. And the majority of people that's getting arrested, if they're not from here that's getting arrested for these crimes, they'll be right back out before the day over. So they'll be right back at it again. So it kind of do seem like what people are saying, that it is to push this martial law stuff and bring in more criminals so that they can make it 10 times worse so it can really push these laws and put them in effect. Okay, y'all. But anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know that um, for some reason they picked today was today for multiple hittings to take place all over the place. Um, stay safe, y'all. Please stay aware of your surroundings. And y'all watch the company that y'all are keeping because it is getting 
be a mess out here right now, okay? This man is clearly upset. Somebody close to him has passed away. And they said at this vape shop, three people passed away. So I don't know if it was like a mother, father, whatever, because a lot of people that own these little places, their family members working in there. So ain't no telling. But I just want y'all to look at the look at these cops' face over here. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. They shouldn't even be allowed to wear a police uniform when somebody is upset, clearly upset like this. And they're over here smirking and laughing in this man's face to the side. What kind of people are wearing uniforms these days? I just don't get it. They should be... <laughs> y'all... Y'all know what I want to say. They should be fired for this mess. You sitting up here laughing at something like this? This just goes to show you that the people that's wearing these uniforms, they don't deserve to be wearing them, y'all. They really don't. Now you see why some of these migrants out here breaking them off. Because some of them are just disrespectful. And see, the, the, these new migrants that's coming over here now, they ain't like the street associates that's out here. Street associates that's here right now, if the police come and rough up one of them, they're going to just stand back and watch. These new migrants that's coming over here now, they don't play this mess. And they don't, they don't take police officers like this, smiling in their face about something and coming at one of theirs. They take actions in their own hands. Now, it, it's... it's, it's you know, we're going to see what's going to come of it. But so far, it's been nothing. Nothing. Those guys that jumped on the police, they got right out. And they moved out to another state so that they wouldn't be charged for anything. But if they were going to charge them for something, why you let them out in the first place? So it's just so much weird stuff going on. Sometimes you be like, you know, they shouldn't be doing this. They shouldn't be doing that. And then you turn around and look at some stuff like this. And then you be like, well, this is probably why some of these polices are so disrespectful. And everybody ain't what just sitting back watching you laugh in their face about somebody passing in their family. You know what I'm saying, y'all? That, that kind of, this just kind of bugged me watching this news report right here because it just didn't make any sense. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Why today? Why today? Today is 2-11- 2024 is there something significant about 211 y'all i want to put that in the gematria really quick because i you know what i was talking about when i was talking about the the pastor joel osteen and i was saying that it was so many subliminals about 223 outside y'all saw all the numbers 223 and this and that and that and this if you put in pastor joel osteen why 223 pops up in his numbers in reverse and 88 pops up, Infinity Links, under Pastor Joe Osteen. Okay, y'all. Now, let's see what 211 represents. Because, we, of course, it represents the number four. It comes up to the number four. But, what the world does 211 represent for all of these hittings to be taking place today? It just seemed like it's something more to it. I'm just saying, y'all. It's weird. So... Off top, Book of Revelations pops up under 211. Um, Antichrist pops up under 211 as well. Um, Mason, Powerball is popping up. There go that Powerball again. I was telling y'all about the uh, yesterday. Black Mamba is popping up. Firearm is popping up. So that makes sense. That Fireball is popping up. Um, Satan the Devil is popping up. H to the E L L is popping up as well. K I L L I N G is popping up. Slavery is popping up, and ritual human sacrifice is popping up, y'all. So, um, is that why everything is going on today? Like it's going on? It's a sacrificial day because this is what it's saying. Ritual human sacrifice equals 211. And that's what's going on today. There are so many people trying to take other people out all of a sudden. Now, November 13 comes up as well, which is 1113. Would y'all know about that? 3111 and 311. That, that represents a lot of lies in there, too. Because remember, I was telling you about the other video. Something is, ain't right. Something is off about that. Now. <laughs> Because the um, witnesses are giving two different stories. They're giving different stories than what the police. Rare. 
2024. Let's see what comes up. So, Two eleven twenty twenty four. So, RIP comes up when you put that in. RIP. Like rest in peace pops up. FBI pops up. Beast. This is weird because election interference never surrender pops up. That's weird for that to even pop up. Because it is election, you know, close to election time. Well, it's basically it is election time. So that's weird that that popped up too. Yeah, but I'm I'm just wondering like why today? Why are all of these mass hittings today? And just active hitters just all over the place. There's something weird going on today, y'all. Anyway, I just want to jump on here and let y'all know that there is an active hitter in Memphis as well. So y'all be safe. Prayers up for Memphis. Um, prayers up for houston too y'all because it's a lot going on there too that is being covered up okay but anyway y'all please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching y'all peace